Hey folks, welcome back to this multiplayer Let's Play of Civilization 6. I'm Perry. And I'm Kev. And we're causing mischief. Well, that's one way of putting it. Come on, little missionaries, we need to spread our faith. And quickly. Ooh, modern music. Ooh. Let's see. Scalia denounces me. How dare they? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to keep track of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh dear, Australia! If you, yeah, that's not gonna work. Did they land on your car? Yeah, but they're not, they're not in a place where there's anywhere to, for them to settle, unless they want to settle somewhere completely without water. Then again, they are Australia, so they get benefits from building on the coast. So who knows what they'll actually do? Yeah, and I mean, none of their cities have suffered for it so far. Meanwhile, I'm building settlers. Try to. Yeah, they they actually they get uh, river bonuses for coastal cities, so they get plus three housing. So that almost weighs out for lacking freshwater access. Yeah. Freshwater pastures four, trigger a culture bomb. Yeah, that one has got a nasty. Yeah, campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares have plus one yield in any tile with charming appeal. And plus three in breathtaking. So, the Australians like it dry and pretty. Oh, right. That, oh, because that appeal thing is actually part of their baseline save. I thought that was just for the, uh, scenario, the outback scenario. Well, in that case... We got the, that case, that bonus is huge, the whole appeal thing. I mean, you can get an adjacency bonus of like plus eight or something. Rather quickly. Yeah, and they they built a, uh, a a campus on a breathtaking right next to their camp their capital. That explains why they're taking up so quick. Because <laughs> I think that would get plus six or seven. Like a that's the only breath. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. No, that's I think the only breathtaking they have. Yeah, the only other breathtaking in their territory. Well, they got two: one with a mine and one with uh, a mountain. And they have one more, just an unclaimed inland that has basically no water. Yeah, sure, Japan. We'll go with this deal. You keep denouncing me. Good to know. I do? Hmm? I keep denouncing you. Is that what you're saying? No, Sylvia keeps being silly. Silly Scythia seeks certain certitudes. Oh, Scythia. <sighs> okay, so where are we going to settle? Well. That's the only freshwater square, so I'm going to sit right there and see where <laughs> this whole fleet of uh, Australians is heading. Actually, let's make sure that nothing bad happens here. Like, say, an Australian enclave. Best kind. I don't know about that. Worst kind? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh goody, now I have Japanese missionaries running across my territory. <laughs> it never rains, but it pours. Yeah, this is getting poor real fast.
fortunately, my my uh, the capture of Tenoch Chitlin has stopped the pressure from that from Buddhism. But the Japanese having founded Judaism is is causing some problems. So, I'm conflicted. Oh, I still had an archer around. I didn't realize that. Um, Upgrade him. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Throw gold at him. You've got to have enough at this point. I keep using my gold, so... That would be a negatory. Hey, a new city-state. Hello. Yeah, Australia's actually friendly. Go figure. <laughs> uh. yeah, everyone here hates me. It's very strange. Well, they'll get over it. Or they'll become part of your empire. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Australia settled in. In a market economy, however. Okay. The settled Hobart. I guess they really wanted sugar. Fine by me. They bought Eskidia and China, so not me. Mm hmm. Let's see. What can I purchase with gold? They're awfully expensive. Yay, triangle trade. Yay? Yay. Yay. that going on there you got things going on I do my word ah that's what I, that's what we built that explains much the guy up here, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I set one pikeman up to deal with the barbarians, but uh, there were quite a few ships up there. Like four quarter reams. That gets ugly fast. You would lose a lot of... How fast can I build? Hmm...
You need to repair that or rebuild that. Or maybe even build it for the first time. I don't know. Understandable. Now oh, trying to reform the church. I'm actually I'm trying to record a few other things, but still. But it's fun in the process. Uh huh. See what do they have going on here? Nothing at all. Shh. Nothing here but us chickens. Mushroom, was that you? Wasn't me. <laughs> Your great engineering points per turn is terrifying. Yeah, well I have let's see a few. Uh, you don't need yeah, you don't need to give me more nightmares than I already have. Again, I'll just be done for these things, so... I know. Uh, I think I built one campus. That's that's all I built, uh, other than... Then we then went all either merchant guilds or... or yeah, commercial hubs, or... Once I got the tech for it, the... Uh, uh, industrial squares. I lose out on a few things, but yeah. Your title in Crus that you would earn in Crusader Kings is, is merciless. <laughs> I would have thought it was paranoid, but okay. No, you you have that as you have that as a trait, but your title would be merciless. Uh, in uh, in CK two, I would just lose rather quickly. I think I just don't have the. I think that's how most what happens to most people in the game. Gonna build me more of those. Instead, I'm going to come over here. Building that. Okay then. That was ten shades of too expensive. Shades even. Yes. It's because the future's so bright. I think it's time my careful retreat. There are more than enough barbarians there to run away from. <laughs> I've sunk two quin quadrimarines and there's three more that are coming in, so wounded caravel will run away. There are kind of kind of a bad spots for that. I mean, I, don't, I mean, think I mentioned that long streak of a peninsula south of me. Well, I found the end point of it. Mm -hmm. There are two barbarian camps on it, and yeah, they're spawning ships like crazy. MB pirates down there. And there's another pirate bay in the far north. So yeah, I'm not really going to touch that area until I have battleships or something. Or field cannons. Or nukes. Yeah, that's probably a bit overkill. No such thing. I 
never any such thing. Let's see, so I have one in route there. One, two, more, three, four more under construction. Let's have a look at city sites. One city down there. Maybe, maybe. Also, maybe. Definitely, maybe. Yes, I know, old thing, Matilda. <laughs> I'm surprised the Apadana still hasn't been built. Why is that? Because at this point, the cost of it is going pretty far down. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not worth two envoys. I'm sure someone will come up with something at some point for it, but I've got other uses for my resources, unfortunately. Yeah, so do I. Oh, there we go, another settler. Um, now that's kind of tempting. But only kind of. Yeah. Um... Diana can't close off both spots. No, I'll leave that be. Jerusalem. Ooh. And in three turns, you'll burn her down. Why would I burn down Jerusalem? It's on your continent. Yeah, but I'm just going with the flow. It's actually one of my allies. But if you found Jerusalem, you found the Aztecs. I haven't yet. Well, there's one thing I'm kind of short on. What's that? Faith generation, so I'm going to struggle to get those missionaries needed to. Uh, How much faith are you making per turn? Uh, at the moment, let's see, my goodness, this number is so small. 19? Okay. Is that what it says? I think so. Yes, 19.7. That's with no holy districts whatsoever. City is making zero. Japan's making 70. China's making 30. Actually, then, so Montezuma is 19.7 years, 19. Japan's 71 per turn is scary. I thought mine 50 was nice, but Japan puts me to shame. Wait, what trade route plundered? No! Pirates and filthy bandits. Arg. Actually, I thought all my traders were overland, so this was kind of a nasty surprise. Mm. 
Let's see. That's good there. That's almost done. Those are almost done. I thought I converted you, but okay, well, try again. Remember, conversion is good for the soul. Ooh, the Aztecs built a new city. More to plunder. Boy, that's a horrible location. I don't like to commit myself to oh. heaven and hell. You see, I have friends. It's in, in the northern tundra on the coast. No water. Lovely. For them, perhaps. But... <laughs> well, let's see. You're not ready for that yet. Yardy, yardy, yard. Yard. No, I still say hmm. Things that make you go hmm. Yes, indeed. Sitting here thinking, hmm, I've got a pretty good amount of money. Go to go to the purchase option. I don't have enough money. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have access to marble or? Hmm. Truffles, but not marble. Is it worth? Yes. Since you said yes. Well, if you were contemplating declaring war on me, I regret my, my answer <laughs> immensely. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's from a city state. So I was wondering, well, how did I access to that? Okay. Oh, well, there was a citrus too. Yeah, never mind. Can you do it? Can you do it? Maybe. But, by the sounds of it, not this episode. <laughs> They'll still hit next turn, just to annoy you. <laughs> well, just as I hit, I, I undid it so we didn't get next turn. Oh, clever. <laughs> clever you are. I am. Yeah, okay, we'll take then. a break here. <laughs> I guess we will. Thank you for watching.